Welcome y'all. Today I am going over some really old empties. I am just so behind on recording them that um, I just want to kind of get them done. Some of these are from this past spring and summer, so if I remember exactly when I melted it, I will notate that there's going to be some things I don't remember all the details from, um, but I will try my best. I just kind of want to get these done, finish updating my inventory with them, and so I can kind of clear them out because I've started accumulating just bins full of empties, telling myself that I'm going to get back around to them, that I'll have time to video them, and it just seems to never happen, so I am just going to try to knock these out, and um, if that's not your thing, that's okay, skip to watch another video, but for those of you who are interested, um, let's hop in. Alright, um, this is my sophisticated bowl of empties right here, and um, let's, let's dive right in. I, I'll set them here, and we'll just start with this um, clamshells. Oops, I'm gonna grab this. Okay, I decided to quickly sort everything so it wasn't as much of a mess going through it. And as I was going through, I realized a lot of these are things that I finished up in August and September of this year. There's a few scattered through from earlier this year, but it doesn't look like these were a lot of my empties from August and September when I was really trying to focus on a lot of summer wax. And um, if they're from another part of the year, I will try to remember and say that as I'm going through. All right, as far as starting, let's go in with some clamshells. Um, first up, I have some Goose Creek clamshells. This is sprinkled sugar cookies, um, really nice sugar cookie scent. I don't think it was like extremely strong, but most sugar cookie scents aren't. It was just a nice um, sugar cookie scent, nothing really um, unusual about it, but I could smell it. Goose Creek tends to perform well for me. Um, Tropical Daydream. This was, I believe, during my beach themed week, maybe, which I think I may still have that basket sitting on a shelf in the closet, too. I just grabbed one from there to just try to make a dent on this. Um, and I don't really remember this. It's kind of a tropical fruity scent, if I remember, but it wasn't, it was really not strong, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, and Lavender Vanilla. This is a favorite from Goose Creek. I love their French Vanilla, um, Lavender de France, I think it's called, and then Lavender Vanilla. Both of them are really nice. I think that they do lean a little bit on the side of herbal, but that's my preference anyways. And um, this is something I like to try to keep stocked whenever they have sales going on. This is just a really nice bedtime blend. So definitely a repurchase. It's probably an eight on throw and it doesn't always last till the morning, but it lasts for a sufficient period of time. All right, next up is some clam shells from um, Kringle Candle, and one of their brands is Country Candle. I finished this clam shell in Spiral Aloe that I picked up earlier this year. It was a new scent for the spring or summer, if I remember correctly. And I'm sorry I don't have all the scent notes on these, but I really liked this. It was a very fresh scent, kind of clean leaning, but it wasn't laundry at all. There were definitely some floral notes to it, but I enjoyed it very strong. Um, I think I melted this two different times in three cubes each time. So like two in the living space and one in the kitchen, and it was strong enough for that whole area, which in my house tends to eat scent. So definitely would be a repurchase. I enjoyed it. Next up is Sunday Thunday. This is like a tropical fruity scent. Unfortunately, I didn't really get a lot from this one, which has been surprising because a lot of the Country Candle and Kringle Candles clamshells have performed really well for me, but this one was kind of a light medium. I wouldn't repurchase it. Blueberry Lemonade. This one performed better. It was probably about a seven, seven and a half or so. So not extremely strong, but I could easily smell it. Um, it was kind of a tart, lemony 
blueberry a little bit more on that candy blueberry side but as far as like a scent that I enjoy I just enjoyed it for this one time but I would not repurchase it because it's just other things that I'd rather be melting and then blueberry cream pop this one is such an odd scent because it really smells like grape to me instead of blueberry I'm not really a grape scent fan as I've kind of realized over the last year or so even though this one performed okay it was probably about a seven again not like extremely strong but it was on that stronger side of medium I just didn't care for the scent so I wouldn't repurchase it all right and then a vendor that is currently on break but I have been this year trying to make sure I'm using the wax from her and not just letting it sit because I do still have stuff from two years ago I think or maybe a little bit longer so I finished off a clamshell in watermelon the scent notes are watermelon sorbet fruits and vanilla sugar it's just a nice watermelon it is a little bit on the candy leaning side but it's not super sweet so I enjoyed it there's still a little bit of tartness and it performed well for me this is a favorite. Y'all know I love this from her. This is apple cider donuts from Missouri River Soap. And the scent notes are apple cider, sugar-coated, fried donut, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's my favorite apple cider donut scent. Um, it's not too spiced. The fried dough doesn't have a weird musty smell to it. There's the presence of apple, but it's not like overpowering the bakery. I, I love this scent, and it performs really well for me in my house. So... Um, it's usually like an eight or a nine for a while and then drops down. It usually lasts like all day. I can smell it and wind up changing it out, you know, taking it out of the warmers before bedtime. But um, I can put one clamshell throughout my entire living space and get a whole day from it. Um, also from that vendor is Fruity Loops and this is Fruity Ring Cereal, so basically Fruit Loops. It performed really well. This is really strong. Again, lasted a whole day. Not everything from her lasts, um, you know, that 12, 15, 20 hours, but certain scents like this one do and I enjoyed it. It was just straight up Fruit Loops. Another one that was strong from her was Mandarin Cranberry and this is Juicy Mandarin and Sweet Cranberries. I don't remember exactly when I melted this, but I think it was sometime in the spring or early summer when I just kind of wanted a citrusy, fruity scent, and this fit the bill. It was really nice. It was a scent that I would repurchase again. Um, I think it was about an eight and a half or so starting out. It didn't last as long as the other ones, but I still got plenty of time with it and I enjoyed it. Next up is Frosty and Friends, and this is Spearmint, Peppermint, Cotton Candy, and Vanilla. This is just a nice mint blend. It's a sweet mix of that Spearmint and Vanilla. It's not overwhelmingly on the side of Spearmint. It's not like Spearmint Gummish. You definitely do get that peppermint. And I have a few more clamshells of this, so I am enjoying it. It's um, something I used at bedtime, if I remember correctly. It's not a powerhouse, but somewhere in that like seven and a half, eight range. And I don't remember if I could smell it like eight hours later or not, but um, I got what I needed out of it. Next up, one clamshell from Zape. This is in Cookie Cakery and the scent notes are butter, butter cookies, vanilla cake, cookie dough, and buttercream. This was an extra in a D stash that I got uh, summer of 2021. And it's the only thing I've melted from Zape. I don't know how old it was. Um, it's always smelled like the plastic from the clamshell. So um, I think this was in September. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and melt it. I don't know how old it is. It's at least over a year old. And let me go ahead and see if the plastic kind of disappears from it. But I wound up having to take this out because even melted, all it smelled like was that chemical plastic. So unfortunately I didn't get anything else from it and I um, don't know how it would have lost it just because I had to take it out within just a short period of time. All right, on to the bags. I'm gonna start with things that I only melted like one of from a vendor or vendors that I don't have um, as much wax from. First up is Twilight Garden Wax, and this is Sugared Violets. 
It's a beautiful blend of delicate violets encrusted with sugar, blackberries, fruits, jasmine, and vanilla. It was a really pretty purple rose and it was quite nice size. I was able to split this in through the entire um, like kitchen and living area of our house and it had decent throw. I have never purchased from this vendor. This was an extra and a D stash, but I did enjoy it. Um, definitely, I think this is, um, what is the, um, blackberry sugared violets. Is that the oil? That's what this smelled like to me, and I really did enjoy it. From Avis, it says Bunny Hop. It was a little sample I received in an order earlier this year. It was a nice fruity scent. I melted this in the bathroom one day. I don't remember the specifics of the scent, but it was a nice um, fruity kind of, I feel like raspberry and some citrus in there. Corn Maze from the Bathing Garden. This was sent to me, I believe, from Angie um, Smell You Later on um, Instagram last year and um, she was so generous she sent me a bunch of wax and I I don't remember what this one smelled like honestly because I melted it in the bathroom and it's been a while so I don't remember it from Ashes Scents which is now Lavender Fig I melted Lemon Squared and this is Lemon Square Sugar Rush and Lemon Whippy Pie I'm not really a big lemon fan or lemon bakery but this performed well. I don't really remember anything specifically about the scent, but it was lemon and I, her wax always has performed for me. So not a scent I would pick up again, but I would order from her again. From Broadway Wax, this is Lollipop, Serendipity, and Strawberry. Um, I think I melted this in the bathroom. It had a couple little shapes in there. It was nice. It was very fruity and sweet. I didn't get as much of the serendipity as I would have liked because I really like serendipity. It was a little bit more of that candy and strawberry note, but it was nice. It wasn't like overwhelmingly powerful. I would say it was like a medium, medium strong. Um, and I would possibly give this scent another chance, but I do really enjoy this vendor. Other things I've melted from her have been a little bit stronger and I have already repurchased from her. Um, so I, I do like this vendor and her wax. Another one from Bradway Wax. This was a sample. It was like a um, Scully from Monsters Incorporated head. And this is scented in t Wisted Tea. And it's Peach Nectar, Cherry Lemonade, and Southern Iced Tea. I was a little nervous about this one because of the cherry note. And sometimes cherry oils are very medicinal or... Um, candy and I just don't like them but this was wonderful that peach nectar is very strong you got some of that sweet iced tea in there and the lemon this one was so strong even though it was a small piece of wax because it was kind of thin and it was about this shape I put it between three or four warmers in the bedroom and it lasted all day I could smell it down the hallway it was very strong um, I would reorder this in a custom from her, or if she um, poured this again, I would definitely pick it up. I, I really enjoyed this one. From Brita's, this was sent to me from Angie, also on Instagram, and this is Deadly Punch. It's honeydew, watermelon, strawberry, vanilla bean, marshmallow, pineapple, juicy pear, and sweet and creamy. Um, this smelled really nice, but it was a little bit on the light side. I think this was like a Ouija bear board square, so... I split it between all the warmers. I don't know if I tried melting it on too high of a heat setting. So I don't have, I've never ordered from Brita's and I haven't really tried a lot of her wax. I don't know if maybe her wax does better on a lighter setting, but it was a light medium and didn't last very long for me. And this one got messed up on the label. Please ignore that. It's not like stored in a dirty area, but I dropped this at one point. Um, and got some like coffee stuff on the label so this is from the scented squirrel it's candy cookies and lemon ice box cookies sweet tarts and pink sugar um this was a sweet lemon bakery not really a scent that i enjoy but i melt i did order this like last summer and i wanted to melt some of my older wax um 
and kind of finish up some of the wax from the scented squirrel this year because she is no longer in business so um, it was nice but it's just not like a scent that I enjoy. All right, let me grab the next ones. From Super Tarts, this was a sample in SPK. I feel like that stands for something. I don't remember what though, but it was like a wild berry scent. I put this in the bathroom. It didn't perform very well though. I don't know if I just didn't have enough wax between the warmers I put it in. So I would give it another chance. It smelled nice on cold. Um, I just didn't really get much of it. This was in the sampler, the um, Lucky You sampler, and all the blends have Magically Delicious, which is like a creamy um, marshmallow cereal blend from Super Tarts, and this one was Bilbo. So it was that cereal marshmallow blend mixed with honeydew. I really liked this. I would order this again. Um, definitely got the honeydew. It was a nice honeydew and creamy. Um, I didn't really get a lot of the cereal, but it did give this sort of vague bakery note to it. But it was delicious. It performed well, and I was split this between three or four warmers. Um, it lasted, you know, I don't remember exactly how long it lasted, but I do think it, I got eight to ten or more hours from this, and I could smell it the entire time. So definitely a repurchase for me. And then also from Super Tarts, this is Christmas Morning, and this is Freshly Brewed Coffee, Whipped Cream, and Candy Canes. Um, this one was a little bit of a disappointment. It didn't, it was like a medium throw, and the coffee was a little bit bitter. I just kept wanting more candy cane, because I really love peppermint, and I kept like wanting that to come through, but at least on my warmers, it didn't. So maybe if I melted it in a different area of the house... Um, or maybe if it was in a band bag, it would do differently. But let me know down below if this is more of a coffee forward scent for you as well. Um, right now, it would be just a possible repurchase. From Southbound, I melted this wild berry tulips, and the scent notes are tangerine wild berry berries, or wild red berries, fresh picked tulips water lily and honeysuckle with notes of musk. And this was sent to me from Bernice on Instagram. She sent me a really sweet box of wax. I enjoyed this. It was a fruity floral scent and it performed well in the bathroom. I don't remember exactly the strength intensity, but it lasted all day and I think into the second day. So I would possibly repurchase that one. Also from Southbound, a clamshell in party in the USA. This is creamy peach, vanilla ice cream and sugared waffle cones. This is a new blend she came out with this year, and I'm still kicking myself for not getting a loaf after seeing peach, because this is phenomenal. This is such a good peach blend, very creamy, and that waffle cone comes through. Um, delicious, delicious peach, and there's almost like this um, buttery richness to it. It's not butter, like the smell of melted butter, like popcorn, but it's like this richer scent and just amazing. It performed really well, lasted. Um, I have a few more clamshells. I think the last bit of a bakery bag in this, but next time she offers this, I will probably pick it up in a loaf or two just because it is one of the best peach scents, scents that I've tried. Also from Southbound, um, this is White Christmas and it's Peppermint, Spearmint, Cotton Candy, and Vanilla Cream. I ordered this last Christmas and these were little, um, like snowflake shapes. I finished this whole bakery bag in the space of one week at night. This was wonderful. Um, so minty and icy. It was perfect at night and I was dealing with some headaches and Usually when headaches get to a certain level, I can only handle mint if I can handle any scent at all. And I was able to smell this. It really helped. It was wonderful. And when she offered this again um, a while later, I think I picked up two or three loaves just because this is a wonderful mint scent. And it performed very well and it was so strong. So um, 
definitely a love of mine, one that I will continue repurchasing from her. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished off a brittle of Attack of the Killer Donuts, and this is Jelly Donut, Sugar Cookies, Marshmallow, Blueberry, Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, and some more. Oh, okay. So this is a Beach Night blend with Jelly Donut, Sugar Cookie, and Marshmallow, and Blueberry. This is delicious. I would reorder this again. I got this in a D stash from somebody. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who last summer maybe early fall and I melted a little bit at that point and it performed really well and then I finished off the brittle this summer again performed really well she has one of the best beach nights and um, I really really enjoyed this blend that you definitely got that blueberry and jelly donut in there and was just so yummy also from Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished off Date Night, and this is Sweet Strawberries, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Peach Nectar. I know a lot of people love this one, and there was so much hype over this earlier this year that I wound up ordering two brittles because I love peach, and I like strawberry, and I thought peach and strawberry, this has got to be amazing. <sighs> this would not be a repurchase for me. Performance was okay. It wasn't super strong, though. It was like a medium to medium strong and didn't last incredibly long. I melted some of this earlier this year and then I left the other half and I finished it in September. So at that point it had at least six months cure or more. So sufficient cure time and um, it wasn't super strong. I think the thing that I don't particularly care for in this scent is the peach note. I thought it was gonna be this juicy, real peach fruity note and it reminded me of an unripe peach so it kind of had that green unripe quality to it which was a little bit off-putting and there also wasn't very much strawberry in there so definitely not a repurchase for me now the next several ones are ones I will repurchase and repurchase and repurchase because I love them. This from Sassy Girl Aroma is Glacier. It's peppermint, sugar, and light butter. This is one of the best mint scents that I have tried. I would probably pick up several loaves of it. I know she offered it recently and I was trying to like keep my order under a certain amount because I've been um, just cutting back how much I order. So it was really tempting to pick like eight or ten brittles of this up, but I think I only got like four. Um, I've melted through two of these brittles in, well, at the end of the summer. Uh, the other one is sitting around somewhere, so it'll show up in another empty bit. This is icy, but also had this creamy quality and um, just really, really good mint, and it performed well. It was a nine. It lasted. This is something that I needed so much when I was dealing with some headaches, and I even got to one point where I had like two or three cubes down at the end of the bag, and I left them in the bag, and I put them right by my pillow because I couldn't keep any food down for several days I was just vomiting from the pain and I kept that right by my pillow and I would open the bag and just inhale and try to like breathe in the minty smell and try to like think of other things instead of grabbing my pail to throw up and I'm sorry for the vivid description there but this helped so much and so I always want to have it in my stash um I'll, I'll stop talking about it, but I love that one. Another really good one from S Sassy Girl Aroma is Cat Scratch Fever. This is Peppermint Sinus Relief. I went through several brittles of this um, back in February and March when my husband and I got sick again. <laughs> um, and we both had, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, the, the flu that's been going around, you know. Um, and we were really sick. So this was something we melted at that point, and then I had some more brittles of it, and I melted it at other times when I just kind of needed some sinus relief or headache relief. Really enjoy this one. It definitely has um, some of that eucalyptus in there with the spearmint, but it's more of a, or, sorry, peppermint, but it's definitely more of a peppermint-leaning one. 
I like this. It performed well and would be a repurchase. Also one that we melted back in February and March, but I've also melted some of it since then is Breathe Clear, and this is Effervescent Camphor, Eucalyptus, Menthol, and Rosemary. This is basically a VIX, and it was strong. It definitely helped when our sinuses were like very, very clogged, and it's helped since then in those situations. Um, you know, just when you kind of, it may not even do anything. It may just be psychological benefit from the smell. I don't know, but um, it's been strong and performed well. So definitely a repurchase. From Salt Mountain Melts, I melted this in September. I had melted some of this, like half of this souffle earlier in the summer. And this is Talboy Toy. It's mango, coconut milk, strawberry, pineapple, and vanilla shake. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Um, I wound up, I think I only got um, some souffles of this. And then someone wanted to do a trade with me for some of my Salt Mountain loaves for theirs. Just like swapping some stuff certain scents that we were both like not as big of a fan of and this was one of the ones she had available and I was like eh I'll go for it and I'm so glad I did because I love this scent that coconut and mango is just so delicious and creamy very tropical it was strong it performed well it lasted um definitely would repurchase it again I still have some left but I'm saving it for next summer because I love this scent also from Salt Mountain is Lake House. This is pine, lavender, and icy peppermint. I melted this souffle a couple times at night. Um, it probably would have been better to melt this like in December and January because it has more of a wintry feel to it with that icy peppermint and then the evergreen note of the pine. But I still enjoyed this. The lavender you would think would kind of get hidden in there, but it held its own and definitely would be a repurchase. It was strong and I could smell in the morning. So um, really enjoyed it. Also from Salt Mountain is Double Scoop and this is orange cherry ice cream. This was sent to me from Bernice and um, not, sorry, not Bernice. This was sent to me from Crystal. Um on Instagram and this is a souffle this was more of like a candied cherry so not really a cherry I enjoy it performed okay it was more of like a medium and would not be a repurchase just because of that cherry but I still enjoyed getting to melt it and see how I liked it also from Salt Mountain was Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookies. This is Circus Animal Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Frosted Sugar Cookies. And nowhere on here does it list that this actually has cherry in it. There's like a cherry almond um, scent in here. So if you are seeing this pop up and you're unaware of it and you don't like cherry at all, um, you probably wouldn't like this one. But... I did order a few souffles of this towards the beginning of the year when she just had poured it in souffles. And I am hoping she will pour this again in loaves. This is so good. Um, I'm not a big cherry fan. I'm a cherry hater um, for the most part, but this is such a good cherry scent. You definitely get that bakery. It's very sweet and the almond quality comes out. Delicious, strong, lasted, would repurchase. Moving on to the next vendor, this is from um, Vintage Chic Scents. This is Grandma's Pearls and it's Lavender Vanilla Marshmallows. This is one that Bernice sent to me. I believe it was a like a big snowflake. It was a nice lavender scent. It was kind of soft and sweet and I melted a couple of times in the bedroom for a nighttime blend. Um, it would say it's like a medium, medium strong throw at first. I don't remember smelling it in the morning, but I enjoyed it and I would possibly pick that one up again. Thank you, Bernice. Also from Vintage Chic Scents, this is Wet Bandits. It's a mentholatum sinus relief blend. So this is supposed to be kind of a, um, like a Vicks, but 
I barely got anything from this. I melted a little bit of it this earlier this year when we were really sick and I wasn't getting any throw so I kind of saved the other half hoping that maybe some more cure time or something would kind of change this. So then I melted this towards the end of the summer and again I just really didn't get much of a throw from it so it would not be a repurchase. This is one of my favorites from Vintage Chic Scents, and this is Strawberry Fields Forever, and it's strawberries and cream and zucchini bread. And I got this in a D stash from I Dream of Wax on Instagram, and it was, I think, three or four of the big roses, and I fell in love with this. Um, this is before zucchini bread started bothering me, but I have melted um, some of this earlier this year and the zucchini bread for some reason really didn't get to me so I'm hoping it can still work on the loaf that I have of this because I love this scent. <laughs> that strawberries and cream blend is just or that oil is just so delicious. This is creamy very strawberry forward and it's kind of like a strawberry custard in there. It's just so good um, and it performs really well so Hopefully I can melt more of it without it getting to me. And then finally for Vintage Chic Scents, this was a loaf and spearmint and peppermint. Um, I let it cure for a long time and then I melted it towards the end of the summer at night as a bedtime blend and a headache blend. Um, it was exactly what it says it is, a combination of those two mints. I got both of them. It wasn't leaning too hard into one or the other side. It was really nice and I would possibly repurchase it. The performance of it was decent. I feel like it was a medium strong. It didn't last for, you know, hours and hours, but I did enjoy it. And then finally to wrap everything up, some all three. So, I melted this in my Voices and Pride two weeks that I did in um, June and this was a clam chill from L3 this is the time is now I don't know what the scent notes are I feel like it was a some sort of fruity scent it really didn't perform very well for me it was very light this was a bunt and this was from a sampler lavender cotton candy frosting sweet cream and birthday cake I enjoyed this. I melted this at bedtime and it was a nice sweetie, sweetie, a nice sweet lavender, um, possibly a repurchase that performed well. This was from the cleaning sampler from all three and it's cleaning fairy. The scent notes are fairy dust, island fresh, gain, and bonsai. This is very strong. Um, we were doing some house cleaning and I put only half of this bunt throughout the whole kitchen and living area. It lasted for hours. You do not need the whole thing. I use the other half another time. Very strong. Um, I'm not a big laundry lover, but I did like this and I would repurchase it. I feel like it was a little bit more on the sweet, um, fruity side of laundry and I did enjoy it. This is a puppy pack in papaya, exotic coconut, and fresh cut grass. This is not my favorite of the fresh cut grass scents that I've tried. I would possibly repurchase it, but it was a medium throw. I really love fresh cut grass so, so much, especially mixed with fruit. And um, I did enjoy it. It just was a little bit on the light side, and I just have other ones that I enjoy more. I melted a bunt pack. This is a two bunt pack in maraschino cherry, pineapple, frosty, fizzy, bubbly. Frosty, fizzy, bubbly is a ginger ale scent from L3. This was nice. It wasn't really a cherry I was enjoying it. I found that I don't really like strong pineapple in wax, so it wouldn't be a repurchase, but it was strong, um, especially with that ginger ale malt. After a while, that's all that you can really smell. Um, so if you like these kind of scents, you would probably enjoy it more than I did. This was a Trig Tart in Herbal Lavender. That's exactly what it was, just an Herbal Lavender. I enjoyed it. I would repurchase it. I think I melted this sometimes in some combinations, but I also melted it on its, it, on its own at bedtime, and it was strong and performed well for me. Next up is Starfruit Lemonade Honeydew and Melon. I feel like this was a bag of light yellow colored 
parts and I melted this as part of the um as the voices weeks that I did because I was melting um different pride colors one of the weeks and I think this was on yellow day it was really nice I would I would definitely get it again I like that star fruit note um it reminds me of like a starburst tropical candy and then you had the tartness of the lemonade and that melon was really enjoyable. Um, I feel like it was a strong medium, so definitely um, would consider getting that one again. Um, this is Swimming Pool Watermelon Toasted Coconut, which I got because it just sounded so unusual. I hadn't tried the swimming pool oil, and I really like this. I don't even know how to describe the swimming pool oil, but there is something about um, that smell of like the water of a swimming pool and it's not really chlorine it's something else and it sort of captures that essence you would think that would be just like so unpleasant to smell but it's almost like a fresh clean note and then mixed with this watermelon um I didn't really get toasted coconut but it was just really nice and in summary I enjoyed it and I would repurchase it again this one was so strong. This is peach nectar, coconut cream pie, and beach nights. I really didn't co get coconut cream pie, but I did get the peach nectar and the beach nights, both which are very, very, very strong oils from L3. Peach nectar is one of the few things that um, I have ever melted where I've had to turn some warmers off because it was so eye-burningly strong. And I say that with all the love to that scent because I absolutely love that oil. It's so strong um, and it's like a gummy peach candy, but just so good. And then with that kind of salty brininess of the beach nights, definitely would repurchase this one. It was a Bitty Betty loaf and I enjoyed this so much. Also from L3, this was a Bitty Betty Loaf and Salty Sea Air and Pear. I picked this up last summer. This would be a repurchase for me. I've actually repurchased this several times from them. I'm almost out, so I need to get some more for next summer. But I would even melt this any time of the year. I love this combination. They have a great pear oil, and there's something about the combination with that brininess from the Salty Sea Air and kind of freshness that is just so good with the sweet kind of light quality of the pear and wonderful combination it performs well it's strong it lasts absolutely where you purchase it we're into loaf country y'all all right this is the first loaf this is cali comfort and this is strawberry pound cake and boardwalk marshmallow clouds this is such a wonderful combination i picked it up i think last september and i finished it this september it was strong and I could have probably let it sit and still have gotten sent next summer from this, but I only had a little bit left, so I just decided to finish it out. Um, definitely like a nine on performance, and I really enjoyed this scent. They have a great strawberry pound cake oil, and I personally really like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Blends, so it was sweet and a little bakery and feminine and... Um, perfumey, a little body care, just really, really wonderful scent. Another one that I like, I picked up in a puppy pack last summer and fell in love with it. So I requested it earlier this year and I got two loaves. I still have one loaf I'm holding on to for next summer if I can wait that long. But I have already melted this one. This is Mac Apple, Fresh Cut Grass, and Rock Candy. This is a blend with Fresh Cut Grass that I love. It just pairs so well with that apple note and the rock candy. It just gives like this sweet crystallization quality to it. Um, it's fresh and bright and energizing. You know how Mac Apple is. It's very punchy and um, it sometimes can overpower everything else in a blend, but that fresh cut grass stood up to the plate and faced off with it. So you get both of them and this is just such a wonderful blend. It's strong, it lasts, it performs well for me and will be something I always want to keep in my collection. This is one that surprised me. I picked this up last summer and I almost 
gave it away or de-stashed it because I thought, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't tend to get a lot of coconut when I melt it from things. And I kind of got burned out on boom, boom, sorry. I was about to say bum, bum. Um, but I decided to give it a shot and I melted through this entire thing this summer. I would repurchase this. This was really good. I don't know who created this. It was not my idea, but bravo. This is Coconut Nella Wafer Exotic Coconut Salty Sea Air and Bum Bum. That is a lot, but this is so good. The Bum Bum is cut down by that salty freshness of the salty sea air, so it's not as sweet and like perfumey because it sometimes is just like so sweet that it comes a little on a little sickly, you know, and overpowering, but it was cut down by that salty sea air and they kind of helped like tone each other down enough so you could actually get other stuff in the blend. The coconut, I wouldn't say is like strong coconut. Um, it more was like a light tropical vibe to this. And then you know, got the Nella wafer, it was, really good and it's such an unusual scent I feel like I don't even know how to exactly describe it because I don't think I have anything else that smells like this but I liked it it was very strong and it lasted this would be one that I could pop in the morning and take out at night before we're going to bed because it would last all day and um, definitely would repurchase it this was a loaf and snooze button. I've gone through multiple loaves of this scent. This is a bedtime blend that I love from L3. It's sweet lavender, vanilla bean noel, and butter mints. Yes, it's basic. It's just three oils. But you know what? It's a classic. And when you want something just soothing at bedtime, um, this is perfect. I will forever repurchase this. It performs well and... I, I really love this scent. It's a lavender and butter mint scent. What else can I say? And this is another one that I absolutely love from L3. I picked up a loaf of this last summer and I found that this was something that I really liked when I wasn't feeling good. And then I kept asking them for to pour it again and asking and asking and asking. And they didn't pour it for like another six or seven months. So I was holding onto this tiny little cube that was left. And they finally poured it and I got, I think, three loaves of it. Um, which I've already gone through several of them. But um, this is one of the ones that I finished off. Um, from the new loaves I've got this year. This is rosemary, mint, lavender, and pink sugar. There's something about that rosemary mint that adds this nice herbal quality in with the whole gluten. It's not just a straight up mint. And the lavender is really nice. It's a little herbal leaning to me. And then there's a sweetness from the pink sugar. Um, just really, really nice. It's strong. It performs well. It lasts. And I will repurchase this many, many times from them. So definitely a love of mine. All right. I think... Well, that's all. Okay, that's everything that I had in that bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and finish inventorying and so I can kind of clear these out. Um, let me know if y'all have melted any of these. I'm curious to see if there's anything that y'all love too. And again, thank y'all for watching.